Well, hey there. My name is Dawn, and welcome to a little place I like to call Gulf Coast October. On this particular day, I wasn't exactly sure what I was going to paint, um, and then I figured out I want to paint a dove. I have been on a huge kick with my Saint, is Saint Teresa of Avila. She was around in the 1500s. And whenever I'm feeling really low, I swear sometimes that this saint like communicates with me from the 1500s, oh yes. Or maybe from current day, I don't know. But apparently I have a lot in common with her and you know, I just get, into, get myself into trouble basically. But also I love to look for signs and symbols that I'm not alone. I'm gonna tell you guys a story of something that happened. For years, I used to love to go out in the backyard during fall and I would catch a leaf and I would write the year on the leaf and I would put it in this book. And then there was a few years here where I was really depressed and I didn't want to go outside. And um, it, it wasn't it wasn't the pandemic, it was something else. And I didn't get to catch any leaves and I was just so sad, it was a big deal to me. I like these little traditions that I just have with me, myself and I, I thought. And this year, uh, we were down by the river one day and I caught like 20 leaves. I, they just all kept landing on me. It was the most amazing thing. And I'm a spiritual person, so I took it spiritually. If you don't like that kind of stuff, I understand. I, a lot of people have gotten really mad at me and said, you can't just live your life like everything's a spiritual experience. <laughs> uh, yes, I can, and I do. So it gets me in trouble, I will admit that. But Because um, whenever I, I get all low down and sad and feeling alone, I get myself <laughs> into trouble. But one day, a few months back, I was out in the backyard and a feather fell out of the sky. I, don't, I didn't see a bird, I don't know where it came from, but I caught it. And I taped it in my little book. And this is it right here. I taped it in my little book. And you know, to me, I'm like, I don't have to pay $500 on eBay for a relic of St. Teresa of Avila. I, could, I have a real one right here. She gave it to me, you know. And it is a big deal to me. And I, I do take it as a sign to, you know, kind of straighten my butt up and start acting right, so to speak. And um, when I was in RCIA, which is the classes you take to join the Catholic Church, and, and they don't do it to be you know, religi. They do it to help people understand why Catholic people are the way they are. If they go by, you know, not just because somebody goes to Catholic church doesn't mean that they live by these things. If you go where the people are, you're going to go where there's brokenness, no matter where it is. But there's also going to be times where there's good, amazing spiritual things that happen. When I was in RCIA, one of the things we had to do is we had to start figuring out who do we want our saint to be. I was like, I don't know, you know, could it be, you know, Hildegard von Bingen, she was a mystic, she liked crystals and all this stuff, and, and I was thinking it had to be somebody really wild and obscure, and, but it couldn't be like Teresa of Lisieux or something, because she was the little flower, who I look up to her as a role model, I do, because she just was kept getting the message to be her little self, you know, just be yourself. I don't know what was going on, but there was things like uh, this day where I was in the bathtub, and I was like praying, like, help me feel the Holy Spirit, let the Holy Spirit guide me. And I looked, and it looked like the bubbles at my feet were <laughs> the Holy Spirit dove, which is actually a symbol of St. Teresa of Avila. I didn't even catch that till years later. But um, I just kept trying to find somebody who was wild, like this one saint who, she was rebellious, so she would wear like a lace collar. <laughs> but um, but I, I ended up one day, I was learning about something, and it ended up suggesting Teresa of Avila, and I was like, well, let me just read about her. I've, I've only heard about her 20,000 times. I don't care nothing about her. And I'm not kidding, when I scrolled my finger on the screen and I moved my finger away, it was sticky and there was a teeny tiny feather. Um, and hopefully I can find that and I can show it. I don't know where that book is, I'll have to look for it. But I had that teeny tiny feather and that was the first time I felt like this feather came and I was like, and then things started unfolding and oh my goodness. So I got this book that I love called The Mansions or The Interior Castle and at first I didn't understand it. But then I got another version of it in the mail and I understood it. And I was really struggling in RCIA classes. You know, I felt like there was some stuff against me. I'm tattooed, I'm a weirdo, I'm eccentric, um, I'm on the spectrum and all this stuff. And, and a lot of people just don't want me around. There was a lot of people that were nice. But you know how when there's like this small group of bullies, like, <laughs> I mean, it, it's like kryptonite, you know, the eye rolls and the, the just the energy they put out. But I made it through and I feel like St. Teresa of Avila helped me make it through. But anyway, so, um, so she's coming back into my life and I feel like I have this spiritual guide and I'm so grateful because I've been going back to mass and I'm just, I'm so into it and I feel so connected right now. 
And, um, and if you're somebody who has ever been connected and fell out of that connection, you might be in something called the dark night of the soul. And the more I learn about what's going on with me, I have been in something called the dark night of the soul. And when you're on the other end of it, you don't regret it because we learn so much. And I learned how to be more loving towards other people. Uh, even when people are impatient and intolerant with me, I'm learning how to either work through it in that moment that's a self-regulation I was never taught as a child. So a lot of us have a lot of childhood trauma and we're walking around as 40, 50 year olds with all this trauma and we're still dumping on people. We're still trying to correct people religiously out of our ego. And it has nothing to do with us being afraid that like they're going to go to hell. I'm realizing anytime I've ever corrected somebody religiously or they've corrected me, like it would be more that I'm afraid I'm going to go to hell. Therefore, I got to try to get brownie points. <laughs> and that's not a thing, by the way. It's just not. People have to go through their own dark night of the soul. We have to go through our own stuff so we can get to the other end. So this ended up being a, a gift bag for somebody. I painted this for him and uh, it's somebody who I just was worried about them because they were sick and I wanted to uh, do something for them. So I shared with them some of the things I learned how to do to help with my own migraines and my own health is not getting rid of the foods we love, but replacing them with healthier options that are not filled with preservatives. And so, you know, like crackers a lot of times have a lot of junk in them. It's just not healthy, but you can still have them just have healthier, you know, healthier options, okay? I hope this video was interesting or helpful or whatever. Ignore the haters and stay golden, my friend.